Man said, Jay Wise, what's your thoughts on the black pill idea that always... Yeah, it's bullshit, man. It's bullshit, blood. You see all of that, yeah, that, that, that black pill mentality and that, that is a weak, defeatist mindset. These guys think to themselves, yeah, these black pill guys, yeah, they think to themselves, unless you're six foot three, unless you've got a granite, a granite, um, a jewel made out of granite and that, yeah, unless you're some genetic wonder, yeah, yeah your, your team's going to drop off and that and no girl's going to want to sleep with you. It's bullshit, blood. Yeah, being six three makes a difference. Being good looking makes a difference. Having a chiseled jawline made out of granite and that makes a difference and that. But, blood, that just gets your foot in the fucking door, blood. To be able to keep and maintain girls like in a rotation or just having one girl that you're dating for a year, bro, that that that's gotta come within, bro. That's your intrinsic values. How many girls yeah, have you seen who have said, Oh, my last exes, they were all ugly, but I still like them at the time? You know what I'm trying to say? I've heard, I've seen girls on that fresh and fit podcast talking about, yeah, you know all the guys I've dated, they've always been ugly. You don't need to be fucking um some genetic wonder man to get girls man that's just their excuse for being shit with girls oh it's because i'm not six three. Oh, it's because i'm not good looking oh it's because i ain't got a square jaw like no you're shit with girls because even if they were good looking even if they were six three even if they were did have a jawline that was squared off and that they still will be shit with girls all being good looking does is get your foot in the door, just get you the date. Now, maybe if you go to Ibiza, yeah, you might get a first day late or whatever, um, first day late, whatever in it. But that ain't gonna happen that often, man. And do you want a constant revolving door of girls? Blood, dating is very time consuming and dating is very expensive. You will save a lot more money in your life, yeah, if you just have one girlfriend for five years as opposed to going on and being single and dating constantly throughout those five years. I promise you, I promise you, if you're going out on a date with two new girls every single month, like, let's see, let's see who this person is. How are you doing? Oh my God. Oh, bro, I'm coming off this fan. Hello, you handsome fella. How are you doing? How do I come off this thing, bro? Ah, oh, you know, I'm stuck, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gone. <laughs> I don't know what. Trying to sound weird ass people, bro. Anyway, what the fuck was I saying? Yeah. Um, if you took, if you took five guys, yeah, sorry, to 10 guys, five of them were in a long-term relationship for five years and the other five were single, but constantly dating. Yeah. The guys that are single and constantly dating, they will spend way more money, way more money. Yeah. Than the guys that are in, uh, in long-term relationships and that. Because when you're constantly dating, you constantly need to keep up your appearances and that, looking good, you know, spending money and that, going out on these dates and that. Blood, when, when you've got a full-time girlfriend, that like, you don't need to be taking her out every single fucking weekend and that. Every other weekend, and that's it. And even then, you can just do some little cheap dates as well and that. You don't need to um, be impressing your, your the, the girl and that. I mean, you shouldn't be impressing no girl and that, but yeah, man. You're better off just having like one or two girls. That's it, mate. Right. Can a relationship distract you from your goals? Yeah, easily. Yeah, that, that can happen. That can happen. But as a man, you just have to be more selfish in a relationship and just be like, you know, I'm putting my interest first. I'm putting my goals first. And funny enough, when you have that attitude and that mentality, then your girl is going to be more attracted to you. So it's a win-win situation. But yeah, some of these guys, I was going to say I feel sorry for them, but they're too weak to say no. They have to do all this bullshit. They have to go to the in-laws' house every Sunday for dinner. I'm not doing that bullshit. I'm not doing that bullshit. I'm not even picking up the phone to certain people nowadays, you know. 
I phoned someone the other day by accident. I was like, oh shit, I phoned them by accident. A couple hours later, they phoned me. I saw my phone ringing. And I just said, nah, I'm not answering this call. Because in the last two years, I haven't spoke to this person like that. So what's the point of me phone? What's the point of me speaking to them? The only reason why they phoned me is because they thought I phoned them, but it was an accident. Why am I going to talk to this person? What, to catch up? Catch up with what? Wherever, they, wherever I left them three, two years ago, two, three years ago, is where they are now. So why the fuck am I talking to them? I didn't even answer the phone. I got invited to a family little, I don't know what they were doing in it, some little party thing not too long ago and that. I was going to go and I thought, nah, what's the point? The people them that are there, they are in the same position that I left them in two years ago. So what am I going to catch up with them about? Because you know some people are like, oh, go and catch up with your family. Man. Catch up with what? You've been in the same position for the last five years. What am I catching up with? I've got stuff to tell you. You ain't got nothing to tell me. So forget, I'd even bother go. No, I'd rather make videos on YouTube than go and sit and, and, and talk rubbish and spout a lot of nonsense and listen to people's crap. I talk crap with people every single day because I meet tenants every single day. So I don't have no, no urge to socialise. Maybe if I didn't, maybe if I had a job where I didn't socialise with people, then maybe I would have um, an urge to socialise. But you have to understand, yeah, I go to five people's houses every day, five days a week. I meet 25 new people a day, a, a, a week. Now, sometimes it's a little bit less than that, but or sometimes a bit more. But typically, I meet 25 new people a, a, a week. Why the fuck do I need to socialise with people that I already know their life story and I know they ain't gonna, they have not made no improvement in the last five years and that. I have no urge to socialise with, 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 with people. So, told you already that time I got invited down to a, a person's little gathering and that. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm up here in Northampton. They want me to go all the way down there. That's like a two hour journey with no traffic. I was looking on a Wednesday. The, the function was on a Saturday. So if you're looking on a Wednesday at 2 or 1 p.m., there's going to be no traffic, obviously. I'm looking to go down there on a Saturday. Yeah? So that two hour journey is probably going to be a three hour journey because I'm driving from Northampton, Northampton down to like somewhere down in deep into South, well, not even South London, like Kent or somewhere like that. I'm going to drive all the way down there. Yeah, that's going to be a three-hour journey there, three-hour journey back. That's six hours on the road to go and spend three hours there to get 10 minutes of this person's time. Because when you turn up to the host's function, so when you're invited to a function and the person who invites you, they are also the host, they've got to go and entertain all their guests. They can't sit by your side and entertain your black ass for the next three hours and that. They're going to talk to you for 10 minutes and they're going to keep it fucking music, um, music. Uh, keep it fucking moving. I'm not traveling six hours to get 10 minutes of someone's time and bring gifts. So I'm spending my time, I'm spending my money, and I'm not getting entertained. I'm going to be sitting there having some bullshit conversation with someone that I don't know, talking about, oh, when was the last time you went on holiday? Oh, yeah, I went to Spain two months ago. And, oh, what was that like? Oh, yeah, I'd really like to go to Spain, you know? Like, yeah, I've been to Dubai and I've been to Jamaica, but I've never been to the Mediterranean. I'm going to be engaging in some bullshit low, low IQ conversation. I ain't going. Fuck it. I ain't going nowhere. I've got things to do. I'm not wasting my time. All of them stupid functions that people go to in that is because they ain't got nothing else go, going on. I promise you, all them people there, yeah, if they had won the lottery, they won 50 million, they would not be at that fucking function. They're only there because they ain't got nothing else. But promise you. Man. What do you do for leisure? I ride my motorbike, that's what I do. And making these videos, this is this is entertaining for me. This is this 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 is um this is leisure.